Minus 77s, and today I will be talking about the effects of urban heat islands on um, people in urban areas and the environment. Um, what is an urban heat island? Um, the urban heat island phenomenon is where urban areas are up to 14 degrees hotter than their surroundings. This is caused by multiple factors, such as lack of trees and other greenery. Um, trees create shade and absorb CO2 while also absorbing heat uh, much better than concrete. Um, cities also have a lot of concrete and asphalt. These surfaces re reflect a lot of heat and trap it above the ground, while um, dirt and grass let it absorb into the ground. Um, the greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions the emissions from cars and factories become trapped in what is called the greenhouse gas effect, which traps heat. Uh, another reason is lack of airflow. Many cities are planned in order to stop airflow uh, and not create wind tunnels, but in this process, they're reducing the wind, which makes it a lot cooler. Um, some history on the urban heat island effect is it was first discovered in the early 1800s in London. Um, as there were many factories polluting the city, which caused it to grow much hotter. Um, here's a graph of the severity of the heat caused by heat islands. Um, we can see that um, downtown is obviously the hottest, where there's a lot of buildings, but um, suburban areas um, are also hotter. We can see rural areas are the coolest, but also parks are much cooler than other areas, even if they are in cities. Um, effects of severe heat in urban areas. Increased hospital hospitalization due to heat exhaustion. Um, some people vulnerable of this are the elderly, youth, um, people with respiratory issues, and those with um, lower income. Every year there are um, 67 1,500 ER visits from uh, heat, including 700 deaths, with Black and Native Americans having the highest rate of death. Um, it also poten potentially contributes to global warming. Um, two to set, two to four percent of global warming has been due to urban heat islands. There's controversy on whether this is significant enough to be seen as an actual problem. But uh, regardless, it's still a cause. Um, another thing is higher nighttime temperatures. The human body require, requires time to recover from the heat. Um, so the increased temperatures at, the night, at nighttime have an adverse effect upon human health. This disproportionately affects those of lower socioeconomic background, um, as many can't afford AC. It also causes worse water quality. Um, higher temperatures due um, higher water temperatures due to rain water runoff adversely affect water body ecosystems and create a better environment for algae and eutrophication, um, which affects uh, drinking water supply. Uh, my personal anecdote about this is I live in Austin, and recently the city has had unusual issues with algae in Ladybird Lake, which um, weren't present with lower temperatures. Some solutions um, are creating more parks. City planners build more parks. They would absorb a larger amount of heat. Uh, even in the middle of the city, the parks are much cooler. It would also give people a um, cool place to go if they don't have anywhere else. Um, another solution is moving towards electric vehicles. This is more a long-term solution, um, as they're not necessarily affordable right now for everybody but electric vehicles create much less pollution and would lower the amount of greenhouse gases uh, trapping heat. We already have seen this in cities like LA, where they have greatly reduced smog, which is a byproduct of the greenhouse gas effect. Um, painting things white is a solution some people have proposed. Um, things like streets and rooftops, but there's also controversy, controversy about this because some argue that it would make it hotter. Um, moving on into controversies, uh, there's debate on whether the solutions will actually work 
and what is worth the cost. Some say it's not significant enough um, to cause climate change. A Stanford study found that urban heat islands are not a significant enough cause of climate change to warrant a focus compared to other issues that might cause climate change. Other, others argue whether it contributes to warming of the earth, it has still caused many deaths and could make some cities unlivable for lower income individuals in the summer. Lastly, some argue it's not the government's place to protect the environment, while others would argue um, if the government doesn't know what will. Um, moving forward, uh, we need to implement solutions and do more research. Um, although there's controversy on how much attention we should allocate towards the issue, it's apparent something needs to be done because cities are getting modern and nothing will stop that. Um, Change starts with city planners prioritizing nature and air flow for the health of those living in the city. Um, more research is important because we need to uh, convince city planners and politicians um, to make the change and you need some concrete evidence because it will cost a lot of money. Um, and we need to know that the solution will be effective before we implement it. And so here are my 